Hello and welcome back. I am very excited today because we are doing a full study walkthrough, meaning we're going to walk through each and every angiogram that was taken, try to figure out the view and identify the anatomy and talk about maybe any abnormalities that are going on as well. So let's start with the first image they took of the left coronary artery. So your physician, you know, may start with the right, may start with the left or may start with an LV gram, just dependent on what their routine is. Doesn't matter too much as long as you get everything in your review. So here you can see the outline of the heart shadow. This does look oblong, which is like our RAO for our LV grams, right? So let's go ahead and call this RAO. If you wanna confirm, you can see here catheters on your left, left being RAO if you do the spine method. And then is it cranial or caudal? So if this is RAO, right? This is the anterior wall, this is the inferior wall, this is the lateral and or septal wall. What feeds the lateral wall? The circumflex, circumflex is best seen in caudal. Okay, so we're gonna call this RAO caudal. And then based on that, let's walk through the anatomy. So right here, we already called this the circ, which really kind of goes here. And then for right now, let's call this OMs because we can't see the RCA yet. OM3, this would be the LAD. These would be septal perforators. And then this is either, this is probably the diagonal, but again, we don't really use this view to confirm that. And then the left main. There's a little bit of collateral reach here from left to left side. Okay, the next one, this one should be a familiar shape, one of the more telltale angiogram views. Okay, you can see the heart shadow here. This is more of a ball shape, right, than the oblong. So we call that what? LAO or RAO? LAO. Okay, there is something going on here, and then there's this wall here. So let's say an LAO, right, we had the septal wall, the lateral wall, and then the apical. So what vessel, again, feeds the lateral wall? The circumflex, can you see the circ better than this vessel right here? Yes, therefore all of those things are leading us to call this LAO caudal, AKA, what is the other name for LAO caudal? A spider view. Good, so based on that, we already called this the circ. Again, here are those OMs again meaning this vessel is the LAD. Okay, probably the diagonals up here. But again, not easy to tell in this view because it's caudal and the left main. Next, this one is definitely like a football shape. You have a vessel coming straight down here and you have one going over to the side. So this shape in general is LAO, but we can confirm that this is septal, apical, lateral, so let's work on the coronaries. So based on the fact that on the right hand, your right hand side is the lateral wall, what vessel feeds the lateral wall? The circumflex, so we'll call this the circ. And then if this is the apex of the heart, what goes down to the apex? The LAD, okay, this is definitely then probably the diagonal. You can see that bifurcation much, much better here, which makes sense because this is a what view that is good for the LAD? Cranial, okay, LAO cranial view, and this is the left main. Here's that bifurcation of the LAD and the circ. Good, and then you can kind of see septals. So remember septals and diagonals go in opposite directions. We called this um, the diag, there's only one, and then this is a septal, and there are some much, much smaller septals here. Next is the RCA, the right coronary artery. Now this is a very small vessel. However, you definitely do have some distal branching. So just cause it's small, doesn't totally mean it's not dominant. Okay, it can just be a small caliber vessel cause some of the comorbidities of the patient. So let's try to work through some of this anatomy. First of all, this is more of a C shape, which we know is an LAO view. And you can confirm that with the fact that the spine is on your right hand side, so it is LAO. You have the RCA, the main branches here. You have this down here, which is an acute marginal. 
you have this up here, which is really taking the path of the RV branch more than the conus. This is all that I have for this patient, so I'm not sure if the conus has a separate ostium or maybe that's what that branch coming off of the circumflex was. But normally, if this were the conus, it would kind of be coming down here. This is more where the RV branch territory is, so either that is conus or RV branch. Then you have, again, this mid-RCA, prox-RCA here, and then the distal RCA down here, and this bifurcation, which we know, even though this isn't a fantastic view, you have this acute bend, so that's the PL, and you have this straight here, which is the PDA. Maybe our next view will show it a little better. Now this one does separate that bifurcation. It kind of brings the RCA up and on top of itself. So this is actually a cranial view. I'm gonna say, because the spine's right in the middle, it's probably an AP cranial view. And again, man, look at this branch. And it even has a little bit of septals on it. So again, RCA or, or RCA, conus or the RV branch. It's a little proximal to be the RV branch. And then you see distally again, yeah, this is definitely the PL. This is definitely the PDA. I will zoom in a little bit. So you can see the some of the septals coming off here. Again, not a huge caliber vessel, so you really can't appreciate that too terribly much. But that is a full study. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe to my channel so that we can do more of these videos together in the future.